rock star from Mars, that's why. <laughs> Not everybody can be Charlie Sheen, but now anybody can smell like Charlie Sheen with my new fragrance. Oh. Duh, winning. <laughs> with one spray of duh, winning, you can stop pretending your life isn't bitching and perfect and you're just winning every second of every moment, like this guy. Before I started using duh, winning, I had a loser life. I had an ugly wife and ugly children. But now I'm surrounded by two goddesses. And you know, I just do it because I deserve it. And it's like, it's on. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Don't thank me. Thank my Adonis DNA and the tiger blood pumping through my head. It's a drop of each in every bottle of duh, winning. Just ask this chick. Three weeks ago, I was in a dead end job. Sick and tired of making tin cans into gold for my boss. Now, after using duh, winning, I will go I won't go back to my job until they raise my salary, apologize, and kiss my feet. That's right. You're underpaid, kind of like I was when I was making two million dollars for eight hours of work a week. <laughs> Especially because they have magic and poetry in my fingertips. But with duh winning, you won't just smell like Charlie Sheen. You'll also be as healthy as Charlie Sheen. Before I started using duh winning, I had insomnia and I was suffering from bipolar disorder. Now I nap like an F-18 and I'm by winning. That's right. People think I went to a doctor? Bullshit. I cured it with my mind. And duh, winning. Duh, winning can also help you with your rehab problems. Are you addicted to something? Try duh, winning. Don't go to AA. AA only has a 5% chance of success. Being Charlie Sheen, that has a 100% chance of success. <laughs> I used to be addicted to crack, meth, and sleeping with copious amounts of men. But thanks to duh, winning, I closed my eyes, and in five seconds I was cured. Drug tests don't lie, neither do scoreboards. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can be Charlie Sheen, because Charlie Sheen is a drug. If you take it, your face will melt off, and your children will weep around your exploded body. But with duh, winning, you can smell like Charlie Sheen. You can start living your life like Charlie Sheen. What's the matter? Can't process it? Losers! Duh, winning. Because can't is the cancer of happening. <laughs> Charlie Sheen responded, wow, what a late bloomer. <laughs> yes, in an interview, Charlie Sheen said, I'm on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. He didn't mean that figuratively. His body is literally 86% cocaine. <laughs> Sheen's new catchphrase is winning. Recent prizes include unemployment, career suicide, and chlamydia. It's official, folks. Charlie Sheen has officially graduated beyond train wreck to train wreck that's violently humping another train wreck. <laughs> the best favor we can do him and the world is to look away. <laughs> U.S. Ambassador to Beijing voiced deep concern to the Chinese authorities over a harsh crackdown on foreign journalists this week. In response, China promised to make sure that all future crackdowns will be very smooth and pleasant. A Hollywood businessman paid three hundred ten thousand to have his dog cloned. That's two point one million in dog dollars. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon is teaming up with Ben and Jerry to launch a new ice cream flavor, including caramel and fudge-covered potato chips. The flavor expect is expected to have pretty good writers, but horrible interview skills. <laughs> a man was jailed after driving 35 miles with his wife clinging to the hood. He would have driven only six miles, but he got lost and refused to stop and ask for directions. <laughs> Wisconsin Republican State Senator Glenn Grotham this week called protesters in the state capitol, quote, bums who were disheveled, dirty, banging on drums, and chanting. Coincidentally, protesters complained about disruptions to their sit-in by a crotchety old man who kept opening the door to his office and yelling, you kids, get off my lawn! <laughs> Speaking of Wisconsin. Two weeks ago, 14 Wisconsin state senators boarded a plane to leave their state in the hope of avoiding a vote on an important bill. What they forgot was that it's a bitch to fly in the Midwest during February. Out of the 14 senators, two pilots and one tranny flight attendant, only four survived. Still wanted by the Wisconsin government, they survived as pussies of fortune. If you have a problem and you need to get away from it, maybe you can hire 
the evasion team. <laughs> this week's episode, Deadly Diagnosis for a Damn Dictator. Want you dead. What do you want to do? The only thing we can do, call the evasion team! <laughs> Looks like somebody's country's got an upset stomach! I'm putting a camel that wants to live here! Uh, gentlemen, your jokes are great, but uh, my country's in turmoil. They want my head on a stick. Yeah, well, good thing you called the evasion team. Well, uh, meaning what? Let's get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Join us next week for the evasion team. 10, 9, Central. Oscars, it's all forms of entertainment now encroaching on news. Is that what it is? Can we have one hard news story this week that doesn't have an opinion forced upon it by the world of entertainment? Great job, Scoob. You nabbed evil Wisconsin <laughs> Governor Scott Walker. That's right! <laughs> Let's take up that mask and find out who he really is. <gasps> President Mubarak! <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. And breaking the strike. Doinks! <laughs> and tell everyone in town that the old carousel is haunted. <laughs> Ten years ago, Shaggy. Oh, but wasn't he like the man who liked bottled the land to use the mineral rights? Oh, Scooby Snacks. Ruby Ruby To tell you the truth, I came to this state last summer and just simply fell in love with it. I love the food, the countryside. It just needed a little more autocratic dictatorship. So, uh, you know, I called Scott and we switched places. And what about the strike breaking? Oh, to be honest, even that is a little extreme for, uh, you know, a repressed Middle Eastern regime like us. But I tell you, you just tell the American Tea Party that they'll save taxes and then they'll believe anything. So, but wait, the governor is in Egypt? <laughs> I haven't seen him in about a month, so he could be anywhere. <laughs> Give it up, Gaddafi. We know you're really Scott Walker. Yeah. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> so you're the reason the Libyan troops are firing on their own people. Yeah, you show me a governor who wouldn't use his troops against his own people when he has the opportunity, and I'll show you a liar. <laughs> yeah, now called treason this and constitution that. That's despicable! <laughs> so, but wait, where, where's Colonel Gaddafi? <laughs> All right, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Mazda is recalling 52,000 sedans because yellow sack spiders like to build their nests in part of the fuel system. <laughs> it's either that or they invented the story just to hear newscasters say yellow sack spiders. <laughs> the Supreme Court ruled this week that inbred redneck asshole attention whores can continue to be inbred redneck asshole attention whores. That's good news for proponents of free speech no matter how vile. It's also good news for Fox News' primetime lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly Furtado said she plans to donate the million dollars she was paid to perform for Muammar Gaddafi. She explained that she didn't realize he was a bad guy at the time. In a related issue, anyone who believes that story can now be referred to as mentally Furtado. <laughs> <laughs> Athens, Greece was given the label of world's most flirtatious city. Unfortunately, the nearby Elio was named the world's most cock-blocking city. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of the Isle of Malta, which was totally going to ruin that Acropolis. <laughs> Stock market left higher on news that unemployment claims fell to their lowest level since May of 2008. Businesses aren't hiring anyone, but they're happy that more people have given up looking for work. Girl, girl, I don't know about you, but I am broke. Oh, I'm broke? This recession is going to be so hard. Oh, girl, girl, I, I really spent too much money on groceries last week. I fell in love with a humble grocer. I fell in love with a humble grocer. I hate me.
maybe we're talking about the same man. Are you talking about Trader Joe? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I go in for his trick mix, but if I had more guts, I'd ditch the fruit and sweetness and grab his plain raw nuts. I want to marry I'm <laughs> 